out in my local woods again. I've brought my Geomid tent with me because the weather at the moment is rather, well, windy and gusty, as you've noticed. It's blowing about 25 mile an hour gusts now and again. So I thought it'd be an ideal time to set up the Geomid. And also I had a parcel arrive from China and it's an inner nest that I'm hoping is going to fit inside. Uh, I waited quite a few weeks on it coming and going by measurements it should be okay. So I just need to find somewhere to set up the tent and we'll give it a go and see if it's going to work. Uh, this looks like it'll do. Okay, last peg in. I'm just holding up fine at the moment. It's not particularly windy down at this level. Uh, but you've got so many guy lines on this tent that I'm really looking forward to using it out in the hills and giving it a bash. And this is the inner tent I got from China. And it's coming in at about 300 grams. Let's find out if it's going to fit. Here's hoping this works. The good thing is it wasn't particularly expensive. It was about 30 or 40 dollars. Now it does have a loop here on this side that's meant for the pole. But yeah, we'll deal with that issue later. This inner tent is actually working out great at the moment. Uh, better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I like the corner bits on the bathtub, especially the, the triangular section, because it's keeping the shape of the bathtub and keeping it high. And it's matching up at the back corners of the, the dual mid almost perfectly. And then you've got these toggles, and this one, or the two back ones, are lining up with the hooks on the original dual mid. So it's, yeah, it's working out really good. A lot better than I thought, and for 30, 40 dollars, very impressed. Another reason I went for this particular model was because of the T-zip setup. I hate these loop ones. Oh, it's just a nightmare. I prefer this and open it right out, and it makes access just so much easier. And this just opens up. Yeah, this just opens up so wide. And then you've got your toggles here for pinning it back. A couple more bungee cords and I think it'll be almost perfect. Just needing a little bit of Oh. <laughs> yeah, a couple of bungee cords here and there and a little bit of fettling and it's going to be absolutely spot on. So between the outer, the inner and even the pole, I think the whole tent's coming in at about, must be about 800, 900 grams. Fantastic. One of the things I like about this type of tent, and I've said it again and again with my special with the wiki up, is that you could have your sleeping mat inside, your sleeping bag, everything ready. 
and drop this down so that you could just sit on it and use it as like a kind of sofa or a couch and just sit on the air mat and then do your cooking you could have somebody else in here with you have a coffee, a chat you're shielded from the elements you can still have a door or two open looking out at the views yeah it's a really it's just so versatile setup compared to a traditional tent it comes with this nice little stuff sack fits perfectly easily oh. and it really does compress down I need to get some kind of compression stacks because yeah it goes down to a tiny size it's going down to about the size of my cook pot to be honest and I'm using these shepherd hooks could do with just some smaller ones if I use the back two pegging points I really just need two extra pegs Getting windy now as I was filming there. I could actually see a blue tip flying to a tree back and forth. So I had a look and in a crevice in the tree or inside the tree where it's rotten you could see a, a nest, a little blue tip's nest. And I tried to set the camera up and do a little bit of filming. Uh, but it's not gonna appear well, you know, I'm hanging about. Well, it's nice to go for another weekend walk and try out that inner tent. Fantastic. Can't wait to use it. And if you have a dual mid or a tent like that and you're looking for an inner tent or an inner nest, yeah, I recommend that one. I'll put a link down below if I can. And yeah, you can get one from China. Great to be out. For another short vlog, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been of use and hopefully we're going to be out for the proper wild camps very soon so until then take care reach all again soon